All right, so the last question in the U13 probability sample exam. Uh, calculate the theoretical probability. So this is question 3C. Let a person use using, using Emma's process takes four key attempts before both locks are open. So Emma's process, we've assumed here that it's trial and error. And four key attempts before they're open. So I might just want to diagram for myself this idea that she's got a deadlock. and then a door lock. I might call the deadlock option 1 and the door lock option 2. So she's got to get 1 and 2 correct. And again the way she does is, is that she's got 6 keys. She tries all 6 of them on the deadlock until she finds the right one. And then she takes that one out and goes on to the door lock. So at that point she'll have 5 keys to try on the door lock. So four attempts to work this out exactly. That means that she could use the wrong key, the wrong key, get the deadlock key right, and then get the door lock key right. So what's the probability of doing the wrong key, the wrong key, getting the door lock right, and then getting the, uh, sorry, getting the deadlock right, and then getting the door lock right? Or she can do the wrong key, get the deadbolt, do the wrong key on the door, and then get the door. Or she could get the deadbolt on the first try, take two wrong attempts on the door before she finally gets the correct one on the door. So these are and situations. What's the probability of getting the wrong and the wrong and then the door and sorry and then the deadlock and then the door? That's all and. So we're going to be timesing the probabilities of those and adding them together for the three different possible ways this can happen. So in our first instance the probability of getting the wrong key on her first try is 5 out of 6 because she has only one out of those six keys that's the correct one and likewise she'll have one out of five in the next round that are correct so five out of six are wrong she puts the one that she used aside she's now down to four out of five keys to try she puts the second key aside that she tried she's now got a one out of four shot of getting the deadbolt correct. Now she puts all the keys back in except for the deadlock one. So now she's got five keys again to trial and she does it right on the first try. Moving on to the next one. Again starting over from scratch she's got five out of six to try on the first that are wrong. Then she's got one out of five chance of getting it right on the deadlock. Now she puts the keys back together except for the deadlock key. She takes that one out. So she now has five keys. Four of them are wrong, so she has a four out of wrong, four to five chance of getting it wrong, and then a one out of four chance of getting the door lock correct. And last way around, she's got a one out of six chance of getting the deadbolt correct on the first try, and she's now got five keys to try out on the door, and four of them are wrong, so four out of five are wrong. She's used up one of those. She's now got three out of four. So three out of four that she'll get it wrong on the second try. And then on the third try, she's down to three keys left, so it's a one out of three shot that she'll get it correct. And when you times all these out and add them up, you've got one out of 30 plus one out of 30 plus one out of 30. That adds up to one-tenth. So 1 out of 10, that um, a person can open the door in exactly four attempts. So again, you can put all that into your calculator, but it can get complex. If you want to stop for a minute, you can look at it doing this way. Again, the calculator will do it for you, no question. But how I've done it as well is I've just thought 5 divided by 5, those will cancel. 4 divided by 4, those will cancel. That leaves me with 1 on the top and 6 times 5 on the bottom, which is 30. Again, 5 out of the 5 will cancel. 4 and the 4 on the top and bottom will cancel. And I'm left with 6 and 5 on the bottom for 30. And same here, a 4 and a 4 and a 3 and a 3. 1 times 1 on the top, 6 times 5 on the bottom, 1 out of 30. But 
that's just a shortcut if you want to not have to plug all that into your calculator, but it will work if you do it. So again, between those brackets, that's time signs, that's 5 divided by 6 times 4 divided by 5 times 1 divided by 4, etc.